Wow, check it out. I created this poster in minutes, really just minutes, using Photoshop CS5 Extended and some new techniques that I picked up using 2D and 3D stock content. But don't be nervous by the term 3D. It's just as easy to use as 2D stock content. Let me show you three tips and tricks in how I created this poster. Let's get started. For this video, I'm creating this video game poster using Photoshop's new CS5 Extended and a free 3D Via plugin. However, you can use most of these techniques within CS4 Extended as well. So for this poster, I want to create a gritty art style and pose good versus evil. I searched for a gritty back alleyway for the background, which I found on a common stock photo site. Now, in the same way I found this background image, I searched for 3D content using the free 3D Via plugin. I can search for over 16,000 3D models like furniture, plants, vehicles, anything using this plugin. Most of the models from 3D Via are free. Here I search for and find Big Bad Blue, who is my villain, then import him into my canvas. I adjust Big Bad Blue to the angle I need within Photoshop. This is the advantage of 3D as you can rotate your 3D model to the angle you want. This is impossible for 2D images. We also call this editing within Photoshop a virtual photo shoot. I really want Big Bad Blue to pop, so I need to adjust the light sources for the 3D model. Within the 3D workspace in Photoshop, I can select the lights, then move them quickly into the location of the light that's on the background. Photoshop does allow ray tracing shadows, but the simple shortcut is to just add a simple drop shadow layer effect. Notice that when I move Big Bad Blue, the shadow updates automatically. Next, let's add the good guy. I'll search for Glow Agent, then import the 3D model. Now that I have both good and evil in my canvas, I can set them into place. This is the virtual photo shoot part, as I can create this entire scene within Photoshop, change the orientation, the lighting, very easily. Here I want Big Bad Blue to be staring down at the glow agent. Now I add in my logo for the game. I put it into place. This logo is obviously a 2D image. I also want to add some 3D text. It's also very easy to turn simple text into 3D text with a new repose feature within CS5 Extended. Then can edit the 3D effects of the text by using some of the options within the repose menu. Very simple. Lastly, I want to make some quick adjustments to the 3D model itself. Lucky for me, I can do that within Photoshop and I don't have to edit it in the original 3D modeling application. I wanted to add a reflection map of the glass helmet on our hero and I will use the background image as the map. I also wanted to change the color slightly of the glass to better match the character itself. By changing the diffuse color, I can quickly do this. I just need to locate the glass helmet object as part of the 3D scene. Simple 3D model editing within Photoshop. How cool is that? I add some detail to the image by adding in the laser and I'm done. Seriously, that was simple. I could not have been able to create this poster with standard 2D elements unless I rendered multiple images of different angles of the characters and that would have taken me a lot of time. As you can see, adding 3D stock elements within Photoshop can be just as easy as adding 2D stock elements. So that's just a taste of how you can speed up your workflow using Photoshop CS5 Extended and 3D content from 3dvia.com and it'll really make your artwork pop. Uh, maybe pop a little bit too much.